So hi, I'm Michael Murata, and you're watching What Would Michael Do? Up Close and Personal. <laughs> well, it's the day of reckoning. I've been saying I'm going to do it, and today I'm going to do it. My hair has gotten just about as long as I can stand it. So I say, just strip and do it. I mean, I, I love Lucy, who's been cutting my hair for as long as she's been cutting it, but I can't wait another month. Who knows when this is going to end? Okay, I'm not really going to strip. Who needs to see that? I'm just going to go down to this so you can see the hair as it falls. So these trusty little trimmers come in really handy for a job like this, especially if you're cleaning up around your ears, your sideburns, which I do all the time. You can even trim back your eyebrows. Now, I know I'm a hairy guy, so my ears get hair on them. First thing you want to do is get that hair off the ears. Trimming down your sideburns is the first and most essential thing to do. It'll take years off also. I've dyed mine gray so that you can see them better. <laughs> take a little comb like this and pull it over your ears. And take your trusty little razor. Then I take the excess hair up like that. Don't be afraid to go too far. Plus it's hair, it'll grow back, right? I'm gonna do the other side that's exactly the same thing as I did. Pull it over my ears, trim it away, using your ear line as your guide. The trick to know that they are even is just put your index finger right underneath them, and if they line up, you're good to go. But for a job like your hair, you're gonna need something a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna use this. It's a little loud, but I'll give you instructions before I do anything. Since I'm doing this in reverse, in a mirror, through a camera, which changes everything, just bear with me for a few minutes and let's get started. These larger clippers usually come with a variety of sizes. This is the largest, number four, and they go all the way down to a quarter of an inch, or actually that's an eighth of an inch. Because I'm starting with really long hair, and I'm kind of new at this, I'm gonna start with the longest one, and then I'll just shave it back and eventually graduate to the smaller ones to see how short I want it. Of course, a regular barber or a hairdresser would probably cut your hair wet, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm using an electrical appliance. I'm just gonna start from the bottom and work my way up until I get to just about where the crown is. I don't wanna go further than the crown. This is just for the sides and the back. Let's see how it goes. I'm doing this over my bathroom sink just so that I can wipe away that hair. I'm gonna do the other side. Now I can already see I'm gonna want it shorter than that, so I will probably skip the number four and go down to the number three so I can make it just a little bit shorter. But first I'm gonna attack the back and see what happens back there. For that, you're gonna to wanna to have a handheld mirror. Oh, this is gonna be really interesting. Now I'm reversing everything. Oh, for those of you who didn't know, yes, that's a ball spot I inherited from my father. So that attachment was a number four. I'm skipping number three and I'm going right to number two because I can tell that this is even all over and I want it shorter. Plus, it'll grow back, right? So uh, this is a quarter of an inch um, attachment. Now, the thing about these guys is that if you pull it just slightly away, rather a little bit more perpendicular to your head, you're not gonna cut it as short as a quarter of an inch. And then when you get to the top, you just wanna pull it away as you go. That's how we create the face. Okay, I haven't addressed the top yet, as you probably can see, but I want you to see that the sides are pretty much where I think I want them. The hardest thing is gonna be to trim this. So let's give that a go. Okay, let's talk about the top. So I don't wanna take as much off the top. 
That's just scary. It's funny, I've been saying all along, in four weeks we're gonna see the real color of everyone's hair, <laughs> like a lot of gray hair. I've been rinsing my hair for a couple of roles that I've been playing, but I've let the gray grow in. And it's funny, I've got this like Cruella de Vil stripe here that, I don't know, I'm kind of liking. Okay, so let's do the top. What I'm gonna say, what I'm gonna propose for the top is that we put on the lowest one, which is a quarter of an inch, and what I'm going to do is just lift my hair with my fingers and then just trim the tops. Actually, I'm going to be even bolder than that. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to go commando up there. Just once again, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm pretty much, you have to be uniform about it, I guess, but I'm just grabbing my hair by the root and lifting about an inch. And if you can do that all around, it'll sort of match up and blend in. This is what would Michael do. This is what I'm doing. Okay, now I am gonna put on the smallest guard, the quarter inch guard, and just clean up what looks like might be sticking out a little bit. I'm not gonna go close to my head. I'm just gonna sort of lightly graze the top. This is classic male pattern hair growth. It grows really long right there on the sides, just up of the sides. That's what we call the donor area, if I was gonna consider having a hair transplant, which, you know, after this crisis, I'm not spending money on that. All right, I went a little close over here, but I'm not gonna change the whole head. I'm just gonna do a little matchy-matchy on the other side. Okay, shake it out, rid of all that excess hair. I'm gonna take a mirror and give it a go around and see what we think. The side looks okay. That fade could be a little better. I'm good with that. This side, same, looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna take a little bit more off the top without the guard, with just using my raise the hair technique with my fingers. Don't get cocky, Michael. Put your grip back on. Use those attachments. I'm gonna wet this. <laughs> I think it came great. I'm gonna wet this and, um, and see what happens when I dry it again. Wow. <laughs> See, it looked like I was just trimming it, but now it looks considerably shorter, doesn't it? But you know what? When I get my hair cut normally, I usually just reshape it without that little pompadour front. See, this is what my postcard looks like. So there's my, oh, let me put a shirt on. Well, like it or not, there is my COVID cut. Cut by COVID. You see, it's not that difficult. Don't be afraid to take too much off because it's gonna grow back. I didn't wanna have to put on a hat every time I left the house. And you know, we've got all these video cocktail parties on house party and Zoom and chat this and FaceTime that. So I wanted to feel a little more spruced up. Cut your own hair, save some money. Don't go out, don't wait around. Do what Michael would do. Thanks for watching. Share this with your husband or your brother or your father or your boyfriend, or um, just do it yourself. Bye.